Hey folks, this is a quick introduction to using Autotyper to make screen recordings. I'll start by choosing an instruction file. Normally, you wouldn't show this file, but since this is a demo of Autotyper itself, I've opened a copy here on the left so we can follow along. After choosing the file, I'll select the app we want to type into. In this case, I'm choosing Code, which is Mac OS's name for Visual Studio Code. Then I'll click Run to kick things off. I've set the first instruction to pause. This tells Autotyper to wait until I press F4 to continue with the instructions. F4, by the way, is the only key I'll be pressing throughout this demo. Autotyper will do everything else. Any lines that start with hashtags are ignored. So line five here simply acts as a note to remind me about what the section does. Line six is our first real instruction. It tells Autotyper to paste in the contents of an initial HTML file. The lines will be pasted one by one to provide a little bit of animation. Line seven instructs Autotyper to press command S. This will save our file. The browser on the right is set up to refresh when files change, so we'll see it updated when the save occurs. And finally, line eight pauses the app again. Here's what it looks like when I press F4. The next thing I wanna do is load a CSS file. On line 12, we have the instruction to press command tilde. That takes us to the VS Code window for the CSS file. Line 13 is gonna pause for a 10th of a second. This will give VS Code enough time to switch the windows. Line 14 through 16 load our initial CSS file, save it, and pause the same way we did earlier with the HTML. And as before, when the file saved, we'll see the browser update to reflect the changes. Here's what it looks like. Next, we can make some changes to the text inside our CSS file. Line 20 moves the cursor up two lines, while line 21 presses the right arrow key three times holding the option key. That's gonna jump the cursor over three words to the end of the word red. Line 22 presses the left arrow key while holding both the option and the shift, which will select the word. Next up, line 23 will type the word green to overwrite the selected text, and lines 24 and 25 will save the file and pause again. Running that, we get this. And for our last section, we'll make one more update to change the text from green to blue. That should give you some idea of what you can do with the autotyper. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.